And now I want to explain you a little bit more about the PS2 channel because it is not usual for the PS2 channel to be in feed. So let's change everything to uh, inches of mercury. To do that, I will push on the yellow box here for units, select PT inches of mercury, number five. I will select differential inches of mercury here, and I will select inches of mercury here. Those units are just for the purpose of the training. Um, you would need to follow whatever your work card is asking you to do. I will now go to ground. As I explained earlier, the PS2 channel is generating a differential pressure with your PS1 to simulate an angle of attack on your aircraft. A positive differential pressure means that you would simulate a positive angle of attack and a negative differential pressure will mean that you will generate a negative angle of attack. But how does that work exactly on the test set? You have different units that you can pick and that the manufacturers of the aircraft have selected. For the C-Series, you will use millibar. For the Ember Air, E-Jets and other aircraft, you will use inches of mercury. For the Phenom 300 from Ember Air, you will use differential inches of mercury. In our case, you want to use differential inches of mercury because it is, makes it easier to understand what is happening. My current ground is 30.22 inches of mercury. The differential inches of mercury means I have zero difference between my PS1 and my PS2 channel. That means if I change my unit from PS2 to inches of mercury, I should get the exact same number. Let's try that. Indeed, the pressures are exactly the same. 30.22, 30.22. If I cancel out and come back to differential inches, I see that it is set exactly at 0, 0.00. Now, if I want to generate a negative angle of attack, the way I'll do that is by pushing on the blue box here, input two, and then the minus sign, click enter, and go. What it will do is generate a negative differential pressure of two inches against my PS1 at 30.22. That means that when I get to the target here at minus two, my current pressure on PS2 will be 28.22, which corresponds to 30.22 minus two equals 28.22. Let's verify that. I will push on the units here for PS2 and double check that I am indeed at 28.22 inches of mercury. I am at 28.22. Right now, I do have a negative differential pressure of about two inches that corresponds to some angle of attack on the aircraft. I do not have the actual data of how much of an angle of attack that creates, but two inches at ground should create some negative angle of attack. This is a very simple way of applying this principle. In other cases, you may be in a different unit. For the E-Jet, for example, on PS2, you will be in inches of mercury. So I changed the unit to inches of mercury. And you will have to input each value according to the aircraft maintenance manual. One thing to note and is very important is to never exceed 2.5 inches of mercury differential pressure, positive or negative. If you go beyond those differential pressure, you may damage your aircraft. 